What's up? Well, hey, everybody. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a month. I mean, it hasn't been for y'all because we've yeah. been sharing, but it, like we haven't seen each other for a month, so this is, it's fun. It is. Good. I have missed being together. It has been such an enlightening and just a month of growth. I have grown so much over the last month. Yeah, me too. I am so grateful for a beautiful day and for the clear mind and healthy body it I thought I was healthy a month ago I am just it is amazing how much progress I've made in a month and again I have a long way to go but it feels so good yeah me too yeah we started you know I've been sharing a bunch on my own like personal media stuff about this alternate day fasting that we've been doing so Corey started you said Today's day 30, 30. 30 days. And so it's my, what? what is the date? The 23rd. And so I'm on like day 23. And so... Yeah, I think you started a week behind me. Yeah. And so we, you know, we've been having so many experiences and we've been just learning so much about ourselves and it's just so much. And so we, you know, wanted to share and talk about that. And... Um, what, like, a few things have come to my mind. Like, one of the things is, like, why? Like, why have we even done this? Where did this even start from? Like, what has even brought this about? And, and for myself, it was, I've been listening to this guy who he has talked about, his name's Kyle Cease, and he talks about doing this alternate day fasting that he's, he's been doing for, like, a hundred days or something like that. And, he would share these insights that he'd have and he'd just share all this stuff. And I'm like, man, that just, it sounded so good. Like I just, something that I wanted to, to try out and experience for myself. And I, cause I do, I, I jump on bandwagon sometimes. Like Thank if, you. if someone has done something like that sounds really good, I'm like, well, I want to try that and see what that's yeah. all about. And so, so I did like that. That's what mm -hmm. kind of made me and I, I don't know a single thing about it like I, I did not at the time like a couple of weeks ago whenever I began it but I just I felt this really strong thing you know just leading me to do this to try it out what about you like what well so he's the one that introduced it to me was Kyle Cease but then I started looking for things and I came across a few doctors and I started learning about autophagy mm -hmm. and the way the body will so we all know that we have billions trillions of cells within our body and that within our body and in, within every cell we have mitochondria which is the, the energy house the powerhouse it's what gives us energy and most people are living on damaged cells like we just go throughout our lives feeling lethargic feeling weak feeling sick or weak immune systems it's because our body never gets rid of these weak cells that that are within us but through fasting and the process of of autophagy which is the body eating itself your body, this incredible incredible machine that we have, will naturally eat the weak cells before it eats the healthy cells. So during the days of fast when we're just drinking water and we're not taking in food, our body is living off of our cells. So we're eating healthy on our healthy eat days and then on our days that we're not eating, our body is living off of whatever is in us that doesn't belong. And I thought to myself, just with my background of anatomy and physiology, this all makes complete sense. And I want that because, yeah, I suffer. Today, I know that so much of that garbage has just been eaten out of me. My mind is clear. My body, I wake up at like 5 in the morning ready to go. After I go to bed at midnight, like 5, 6 hours, I'm good. I'm ready to go. My life has completely transformed in 30 days. And it's funny, like a week ago, I was like, wow, this is really amazing. And it's like every single day that 
the next fast and the next fast and the next fast, it just gets more and more powerful. Yeah, it does. Yeah, whenever I started, I, I had not researched or anything. You had already started like a week before me. And so, and you were telling me all these good things. And I was like, well, hold on, let me get on, let me get on board. <laughs> and so, so I started and, and when I started, that's when I started researching. And when I started listening to, to YouTube videos and things about the autophagy and just about the body and like just all the things that that's happening within our bodies as we're fasting. And I was just like how does the world not know about this like mm -hmm. like i feel like we've been told we've been taught through society like to to eat three square meals a day to snack you know before to, to snack between like we've just been taught to constantly be eating <laughs> and i just never understood or knew um how how the body recovers and how the body um, processes things and it's just it's so interesting to to now be experiencing it for myself like one thing that I've noticed is I I've been sleeping like I oh, I yeah. cannot even tell you when like I don't know when I started using things to help me sleep but I feel like for my whole life I've I've used like um anxiety medicines and sleeping pills you know to help me sleep and since I haven't been doing that for a while I've I've used melatonin like the gummy melatonins to help me sleep or like sleepy time teas and stuff and I since I've been fasting I haven't been doing that like I haven't been using the melatonin because some nights you know I'm fasting and so I've like gotten away from that habit and then also with with my tea at night I've gotten away from that habit because because some nights I don't do it and I like I fall asleep easily and then like you said I wake up in the morning and I'm just like I'm ready to go and I'm excited about a new day and like it's it's really incredible to me because I've not been able to sleep for years yeah. and I'm like I'm able to sleep what is going on <laughs> it is absolutely amazing I I can't stress how much it's changed my life and I I really I feel like my entire cellular structure has completely changed that I had so much damage I've done to myself over the years of abuse and like as I was recovering you know I was still eating every day and keeping food so my body was constantly digesting food so as as your body's constantly digesting food it has no need to repair damaged cells because it's working so hard to just digest food so you know you eat and if you're regular every day, it's in and out, in and out. But now, there's a whole day where your body is not having to digest. Your stomach's not working. It is just sleep. Your stomach shrinks. So now on my eat days, I don't have a desire to eat as much. I eat high quality food because I know that I need to get in my stomach as much good food as possible because if I eat too much, I get sick. So I'm now very picky in what I'm putting into my body. And I do. Sleeping, waking up in the morning. Um, I, spent, I spent the last month in Minnesota. And yesterday I had a fast that was absolutely incredible. I mean, the, the, actually two fasts ago. My connection with the earth and with the spirit was just so powerful. But uh, I was at Lake Superior, and you know, over the last month, my energy, the people that I've been around, they're, I, I mean, it's just, I can work a 12-hour day and not even stop for a second and sleep wonderfully and wake up, work out, eat, and go about my day, and just, it's like there's... 
all these weak cells and all this sickness has been eaten out of me. And, you know, I've, I've heard people in the 12 step program talk about being recovered. And it's usually people that have been, you know, 20 years or whatever, but I really feel like I'm a recovered addict. Like, it feels like my body is... Now, do I have to... I, I was talking to Kelly yesterday about this. This is an everyday thing. There is no stagnancy. I am either working on staying clean and working on becoming better and healthier, or I'm working on a relapse. That's, that's the only opportunity I have in life as the person that I am. But I don't have to walk around and say, I'm an addict. I'm sick. I'm in, I'm trying to recover from addiction. I'm just not anymore. I have, I, I don't have addiction tendencies. Like I'm not going to go out and eat a bottle of pills. I'm not going to go out and do the things that I used to do about uh, to myself because I care too much about myself. I care too much about my health. I care too much about the fact that I can feel my hands and I can feel my feet and I feel so healthy today and I am just unwilling to give this up because I've worked so hard for it over the last 15 months, you know. Um, I'm not trying to claim that I've got 15 months of sobriety, but I've been working really hard for the last 15 months at getting to where I am right now. And... Uh, Fasting is so amazing. Jesus didn't just fast once a month. You know? Jesus fasted all the time. The apostles fasted a ton. And I'm not telling people to go fast all the time, but study about it. You know? Um. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there were a couple things. You said that you don't have addiction tendencies anymore, which is so awesome to not have that that pull towards yeah, drugs and stuff. That obsession. Now I can get obsessed, like I can even get obsessed about fasting. Because no. <laughs> I've recognized for myself that I do have addictive tendencies within myself that I am working on breaking. Like and that is one thing that fasting is showing me. It is like is making me so aware of those tendencies within me, those behaviors and things that I do <clears throat> that, um, that are just a too, a little too much, you know? Um, I, I tend to get a little fanatical about things. So it's like, I've had a few days of fasting where I, I felt some weakness. I felt, you know, some dizziness and stuff. And, and so I, in the past, I would, like, push myself and, like, be unhealthy with it. But I'm recognizing those thoughts in my mind. And so, you know, so when that happened, I I can't remember what I... I had, like, some juice or, you know, just something mild to kind of to help me to not hurt myself. Because in everything, even in really great things, like what we're doing, we can be obsessive and compulsive about it. And we can get into that mind, um, an addictive mind, mm -hmm. you know, that that's driving it instead mm -hmm. of allowing the spirit to drive it. For and so sure. it's like, I'm recognizing these things and I love it. There have been a couple fast days that I had a bottle of like 120 calories that had a bunch of vitamins and nutrients in it and it had some protein and I drank it. Yeah. Because I knew my body I was right. I needed it. It's listening. It's listening yeah. to our bodies Being aware. more. Mm -hmm. And not being that not behaving in that addict behavior like right. you said. Because in that in that behavior too is is that voice, that critical voice, that um, you know, that voice that Oh, you're not doing it right, or you're you're doing it, you know, just just that that critical thing, and so yeah. it's being aware of that. The too. voice that came in my head is I didn't want to admit to Kelly <laughs> that I ate during a fast day, uh, <laughs> you know. Uh, right. What right. is that about? It's right. It's yes. the perfectionist in me. It's uh -huh. the addict in me. It's uh -huh. the I got to get away with something or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. 
but it's not about perfection. No. We're doing something that's very healthy, and it doesn't have to be done perfectly. You know? Right. Yeah. Um, and so with food, too, um, my food choices also... Like, I feel like, even before we started doing this, that I've, I've changed a lot of the ways that I eat. Yeah. And I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and just good whole foods and stuff. And, um, and I... I've recognized in in the days now that I eat that I can't eat as much as I used to eat. Even like a salad. Like I made a huge salad last night. Just filled it full of like great stuff. Mm -hmm. But it was like too, too big. <laughs> and it made <laughs> me too. feel so bloated. <laughs> and, and so it's like even good stuff. Even a salad with like all of the healthy things for my body it's like I can overdo that um because I mean I used to eat these huge salads like almost every day and it's just I'm I realized and and I and I was always bloated and I was always feeling a certain way you know and, and it's just it's interesting to be able to really truly recognize how foods affect my body yeah. and just the cravings that I have you know for like eggs and protein or it is it's, it's it's really helping me to be very aware of, of my body and what I'm putting into it and, and how it's making my body feel. Yeah, you definitely know when you need sodium. I mean, I know when I need, it's, it is, you become so in tune with the body and so in tune with the spirit. Yeah, like, that's it what's is really... just such an amazing divide between the two. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, so today's day 30 I said I was going to do it for 30 days so it's like okay I'm good but it's like I really want to keep doing it so I I, I feel like I, I I just don't know which way I'm going to go with it you know uh, I I love the progress that I'm making and I love the way I feel on a fast day but maybe I could benefit from going back to a regular diet for a little while and then doing it again you know mm -hmm. um, maybe next time doing a real 10 day type fast with just water again that I did before uh, because there's just so much benefit in fasting uh, where we had mentioned it before where people have and you know the people can say that it's just made up or whatever but where people literally fast cancer out of their body or they have clogged arteries and they fast the plaque out of their body because our body is going to eat the stuff out of it that doesn't belong and it is our bodies are just amazing machines and the more that we can become more we can overcome the desires of the body the more we're able to be in tune with the spirit and I have just been so enlightened with like who I am mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not just like my connection with God but my connection with me mm -hmm. and who I am and who I represent and my role in life and it has been such an amazing experience to feel the transfer of energy and just, you know, we've talked about hugging trees before, but I hugged this tree on Lake Superior and felt like my, it was, I texted my family, it was the closest feeling I've had to hugging my mom since I hugged my mom last. Like, and my buddy kind of joked on me and you know it was whatever but I mean this tree was very alone and there were a lot of trees around it that were dead and falling over and it was kind of like you could I could, I could see that this tree had been through a lot and I gave it this big hug and it mm -hmm. just I could just feel this energy poured into me on this fast day no, oh, it was so real. And, you know, people can laugh at it, but nature is so powerful. Yeah, the spirit is so powerful. And that's what's really just... I'm, I'm learning... 
like there's just this level there's this place that you get to where I mean the spirit is just so strong and and there is that connection to nature there's that connection to like just seeing things you you see things that you don't can't physically see <laughs> I don't know it's it, it gets into like the metaphysical spiritual world which a lot of people it, it scares a lot of people so people don't even want to go there <laughs> and but the that's something that I'm learning with fasting is just to we're so connected to everything I mean we truly are and I, I really I love like feeling that feeling that connection with nature feeling you know I mean I'm, I'm I've got things with rocks and like just mm -hmm. It's weird. It's totally weird. And I don't understand it. But spiritual things are sometimes weird. And yeah. we don't understand it. And we can't explain it. But it doesn't make it any less real or any less true. Yeah. And I just, I have felt so much clarity. Like, I'm recognizing so many patterns within myself. I shared the other day about a, a video about codependency and... I mean, I'm just becoming so aware of me and the things that I do that really are not in line with the spirit, that really truly are, are, are just behaviors and ways of thinking that I just always have thought and I've never questioned it because it's just who I am. It's how I am. It's just how I relate with people. But, but I've learned incorrectly. And the spirit is reteaching me and showing me whenever I say something, you know, it, it, if, if I say something that I should not say, should not say, if I, if I say things <laughs> out of my mouth that, you know, that, that come from patterns that come from my mama, that come from just, you know, things that I've learned, the spirit is showing me, it's making me aware so that I can change those things about myself. And it doesn't come in a way that's like, you know, berating me or making me feel bad or guilty or anything like that. It's like in such a loving way that's just opening my eyes to show me a new way of being. Yeah. And it's, you know, relationships, like, that's one thing that I'm really striving to, to work on right now. And so it's just on my mind a lot and the way that I communicate with people and, and everything. And the spirit is just, I've, I've just been praying and asking for the spirit to help me. And, and it is, I mean, fasting will definitely help you get there. That's yeah. for sure. And you know, something that you just said about, that's just who I am. That's who I've always been. I listened to a guy last night in a, in a meeting that I went to and he said that girls in particular would always tell him that he's such a jerk and such a butthole you know and he's this and that and he would always take so much pride in it mm. and that he finally realized that's not a quality <laughs> they're not giving me a compliment you know and the excuse that so much of us so many of us use is that's just who I am well no mm. that is my character defect that I want to change and I want to be a better person today mm -hmm. and how am I going to do that I'm going to have to sit down and look at myself write about it reflect on it meditate or as my buddy Cody says thank meditation is just a fancy word for thanking <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, uh, right. yeah yeah totally yeah. <laughs> it so, is um, it's just <laughs> if there if there are a dozen people that come to me and say, this is who you are, it's probably not a dozen people coming to me telling me that that's my quality. It's probably a dozen people coming to me telling me that it's something that I should probably work on. And I can either get defensive and say, yeah, that's just who I am. Or I can say, you know, maybe I want to work on that. What can I do to be a better person? And I love life because no matter how old I get, there's always going to be plenty of stuff to work on. Mm -hmm. I'm never going to run out of ways to become better. <laughs> no. Nope. And I have never. a lot to work on right now. And like I yeah, said, no matter how old I get, 
never going to run out of ways to progress. Yeah. Yeah. You know, cause, cause being at this point in our lives, I mean, I'm now, I'm now 49 and it's like, I've had a whole life of living a certain way. And now I feel like I've just been reborn. Like I feel mm -hmm. like I've just woken up and, and I still have all these character defects that are like deep within me that, that sometimes get triggered out of me. And, yeah. you know, and it's in those moments that I'm like, oh, there's another thing that I can, I can work on. And it's going to happen for the rest of my life. It's going to happen even after this life, probably, yeah. you know, as we're, as we're continually just cleansing and purifying ourselves from this world because this world is just attached to a lot of stuff to us that's not ours and mm -hmm. but it but it's our responsibility to to recognize it and to take it off of us to change it to become that light to become that that vessel of love and just goodness and you know so that we can help one another to be that way yeah, you pointed out just lastly, you pointed out that uh, I was probably triggered earlier today, and the first thing I said was no, I was this and then and whatever. But yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, I was, I could feel I was it. triggered, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but it's great. Yeah. It's, it's it's I'm good. I'm awaking. I'm becoming awake to a lot of things in my life, and I just love the progress that that fasting has allowed to take place in my life and not just the spiritual thing like if you have a problem with spirituality but you have some physical aspects mm -hmm. of life that are really you're struggling with give it a shot because man my body is so healthy today and you know it wasn't for the vanity reason but I've had back fat since I was like 40 and I'm 45, yeah, I'm 45. I don't have any fat on me at all. I mean, it's just gone. I mean, I, and that's not even my goal, but I'm just the physical, cause my body is naturally eating the bad stuff first, which fat is gonna go before muscle goes, sugar's gonna go first and then your unhealthy mitochondria, your cells that have weak mitochondria, they're gonna be gone. And, you know, a lot of these places are where cancer begins. And, you know, it's just, beat it before it beats you. Mm -hmm. I love fasting. Yeah, I do too. And you know, and I haven't, I actually have not lost weight. I'm, which I'm kind of surprised that I have not lost weight. But, I lost a few pounds. But but I feel like our bodies just get to a place of, of its healthiness of where mm. it's supposed to be. And, yeah. you know, I mean, maybe I'm just the weight that I'm supposed to be. Yeah. I was all right with losing like five pounds so I could fit in some clothes. But yeah. <laughs> but I'm good not. Like, like I, I truly just want to be healthy. And it's not about a number... Of, on a clothing or a number on a scale it's about just health and feeling good and having energy and and enjoying our days and just being able being able to walk being able to climb stairs being able to do stuff without you know it, it affecting me like it it used to yeah like your joints and everything just I've I've always had some shoulder pain. I mean, there's just so many things that are changing in my body that I just, I know they're going to completely go away. Yeah, it's yeah. It's so amazing. I, know. I love y'all world. We, it's been a long time, but life is beautiful. Keep progressing. I, uh, it's all I want. All I want is to be able to, to share what's working for us. And, you know, if it works for you, that's wonderful. If it doesn't, discard it and yeah. go watch somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we are not doctors. No. We do not have education for... I mean, you do. You, you got some education with, with this kind of stuff. But, I mean, yeah. Like, mm. everything I talk about is just my experience. And, mm. and it's working for me. If and, you're interested in if, fasting, though, get online and do what we did. Learn or just, about it. Or just start 
Yeah. And then learn, you know, I mean, because that can hold people up too, is like yeah. the lack of knowledge about something can keep us from starting. And sometimes it's the in the starting that we begin to gain that knowledge. And, and the passion, because you feel the benefits feel from it. it. Yeah. 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 So it's good. Definitely. Try it. <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> Love y'all. All right. Bye, y'all.